Alright, so I posted a video a while back of um, the proof of concept for my, my, you know, my multimedia, you know, AV setup, and and the Explorer. Um, the first video I took was just kind of a test, just kind of wire everything up, just to make sure it worked. Um, I've made a little bit of progress with this actually. I actually mounted a uh, the piece of MDF um, board that I was talking about in the first video. I actually got that mounted. I used the uh, Put some brackets, screwed them into the piece of wood. Used the factory, uh, uh, you know, mount locations where, where the center console was. Yeah, but I got everything mounted up. Um, you know, everything is sturdy. You know, the inverter's not going to go anywhere. I got the relays uh, secured down. I got one for the rear monitor, one for the front monitor. Got the Mac Mini um, car power supply bolted down. Got this all kind of uh, kind of wired up. Strapped my little, uh, you know, DVI to to uh, S Video and um, composite plug. I got that strapped down, so it's not going to be stressed or anything. So you can easily, you know, unplug this stuff if you need to. Um, another thing I found um, between my last video and this one is uh, is this TV. This is actually a um, it's actually the, the 12 volt version of this TV. Um, it's the exact same TV as, as the other one. Um, you know, same bezel, um, you know, everything is the exact same, except this is actually meant to work in a car. Um, the other TV, you know, uh, had the, uh, just the 120 uh, plug, you know, for like home use. Uh, this one actually had both. It had a 120 plug and a 12 volt input plug for car applications and a battery pack on the back. Um, the battery pack actually made it longer, so I actually had to remove the battery pack. It kind of replaced the um, the standard back panel with like a, ba a battery enabled one. So I removed that because I don't really need the battery. I just actually need the 12 volt functionality. But yeah, other than that, most, uh, most everything's the same. Um, yeah, the only thing I have to use the inverter for now is just the rear TV. Um, which, you know, let me go ahead and go over that real quick. I can. So there's a little bit of buzz um, until the actual Mac Mini video card uh, enables. Um, once that kind of grounds out or whatever it does, it goes away. But there's the little Panasonic logo. I change the Mac logo too. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, it doesn't film very very good at all. But um old CRT, but yeah. It's the rear TV. Yeah, other than that it's pretty much the same. Um yeah, the only thing I didn't really do, which I, I kind of wanted tour, to do, was um, appropriate information will be automatically go selected and off. displayed for you. Simply touch the area of the screen yeah, displaying the... the appropriate icon. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Yeah, it doesn't feel very well, but yeah, let me turn that off. Uh, the only thing I, that I didn't do, which um, I kind of wanted to do, is I, I wanted to do terminal blocks and stuff, but it just I just didn't, you know, ended up having enough room here. I had to still kind of go with these um, little wire nuts. Um, once I have it more permanently uh, in place, I might remove these and actually solder them and put heat shrink over them, or maybe just heat shrink over the wire nuts. So I don't want them coming undone, but kind of clean this up a little bit more. But everything else is mounted. I had to add an extra relay for the front TV so that it comes on and off with the key. But, um,. Yes, yeah, so this relay is for the, for the front TV, and this relay is for this inverter here. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, as far as the actual console goes, uh, goes, um, like I mentioned before, I want to actually slip the uh, console over over top of this, which I'll be able to do since it'll be fiberglass and it'll be thin. Um, yeah, I want to slip it over that. Kind of hide all this stuff. Uh, another thing I might do is this TV needs to mount. Um, in the console, um, and let me go out of here real quick. So as you can see, this is the mold for the console. 
and the TV's gonna mount right here. What I might do is um, when, I, when I'm laying up a piece, you know, when I'm making a piece out of this mold, I might actually mold in some little, uh, like little rails for it to sit in. Um, Cause you know, I don't wanna be drilling holes in the, in the piece. You know that'll look ugly so I basically everything needs to mount from the inside so yeah I might make some like little pieces I can incorporate into them into the piece you know put them underneath the layers of fiberglass so it has a nice little uh, shelf or, or track you know to, to kind of rest into something to think about I can actually do that after I get a piece out you know I can make a piece get it out and then if I need to go back and add a couple more layers of fiberglass you know to make some little uh, some little ledges here for the for the TV to rest in nicely. I might do that. I haven't really got that far yet, but like I said, it's still a, it's still a proof of concept. Um, not proof of concept, but it's still a uh, a work in progress, I guess you could say. Um, so controlling this thing, the Mac Mini comes with its own remote, um, which works quite well. Um, the only thing I can't do with this remote, at least, you know, maybe, maybe there's macros or something I can program with some third-party software, but, you know, I can't pause my, uh, my tour program. It launches automatically, which is nice. I, I like, I like that it does that. Um, you know, I set it to do that. I set it to launch and, and go full screen automatically. Um, but I also have this, just a little basic wireless keyboard and mouse for basically everything else. So basically what I can do is During um most of your tour, the appropriate information is this. Will be automatically selected and displayed. Uh, let me see if I can do that. Simply touch One hand. the area of the screen. Yeah, it's kinda clunky. You have to like icon. hit you know commands and stuff to, to pause and exit stuff. But uh, what I want to do is I want to actually take um a keyboard encoder like they use for um for you know do it yourself uh, arcade machines. Where you can basically, it's a little keyboard encoder. It has the bun, uh, bunch of little terminals, and you can add buttons, and you can do macros. What I want to do is uh, have a couple hardwired buttons somewhere, maybe somewhere hidden, that I can press, and it'll start and stop the tour, or pause it at least. Um, but I really like the the Mac interface. Um, let's see, hit the if I hit the menu button. Yeah, there it goes. The little front row program it doesn't film very well at all, but um, yeah, basically I can go through all the different uh, yeah. I can control the volume. Yeah, I mean, this is, I'm sure, built into every Mac. This is kind of an older uh, version of uh, Mac. This is a Snow Leopard, I think. I'm sure this has changed in the, on the newer ones, but it works really well. Um, the only thing with this is it's, uh, it's uh, IR. You can see the, the flash in there. Um, so it has to be line of sight, whereas this little keyboard thing uses uh, radio frequency, so it doesn't need to be line of sight. So what I might do is I might get little IR extenders there's I think there's an infrared sensor in the front and the back of these Macs um, it might actually be the front but um I'll have to take it apart again and look at it but I obviously want to extend that IR out somewhere hidden so I can use this remote with it um, they might actually make USB ones or something I haven't really looked too far into it yet because I don't have the console on here yet but yeah that's it I got two remote options this one's a little easier to use but yeah, I will have to extend the the sensor out of the Mac somewhere where it's line of sight. This is a little um, a little bit clunkier, but you have more features. You know, you have a mouse and stuff. But basically, I just want to be able to pause my uh, tour program and bring up the music thing and just to play some music. I, you know, I'm not going to be browsing the internet or anything on this thing. I mean, as long as it does uh, my tour program and music, maybe some videos or something. Which I can just add to my iTunes. Um, I'll, I'll be happy. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll take another video when I actually get the console in here and I get the TV mounted and stuff. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed.